Okay, so I am going to do this um, pixel activity because it was requested by somebody on Facebook. I just want to start off um, prefacing this by saying that I am in no way, shape, or form an expert on this. I don't know if I do it the most efficient way. This is just something that I've discovered while playing around with Google Sheets. I do really enjoy learning um, about the Google Sites, but um, I have not had any training or anything like that. So maybe if you find a, a better way or if you know of a better way, then that's great. Um, this just right now, it's what works for me. And because I've had a request um, to show you guys how I make it, I decided to make this video. So I'm going to make the picture right here, the Homer Simpson um, eating the donut, um, and then create an activity out of it. If you want to purchase the activity, I do have a Teachers Pay Teachers account that I just created. Um, my activities are all math based because I do teach math, but um, you can always purchase and change them around. I don't mind at all into something that works for you, but at least you'll have the pixels um, created there if you don't want to take the time to do this. This particular Homer one um, is one that is free. I do search for ones that are not copywritten um, that somebody has created themselves and is sharing them for people to use. And then I actually really, really like this guy's work. So I ended up following him on um, Etsy and found a ton of his work uh, paid for it so that then I can, I can use it in the future. So let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to show you guys um, straight from the beginning how I make these. So I'm gonna start it off and then just fast forward um, just really fast so that you see me finishing it and then I'll come back and show you guys how um, I put together the actual worksheet so that the pixels work. I do start off with making the pixels first. So as you can see here, I have a bunch that are already started, um, pixels that are finished and ready for me to get started on making them into worksheets. But um, because somebody wanted to learn from scratch, I decided to make a new one um, just for this video. And so on the description in the video, um, I'm new at this, so I'm gonna try to figure it out to put the times um, when after I'm done um, creating the pixels when I start creating the worksheet and then after that um, it'll be another fast forward of me going through the worksheet and then how I finish it because the end is really important if you do it my way so if you end up doing it my way that ending is super super important so that the actual worksheet works so here we go I like to start at I and I don't know why <laughs> I just do so I need to count how many their uh, fields there are. So uh, one, just so that I know that it's I. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 18. And actually I do know this by heart already because I've done them so many times. So at I, there's 18 of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna highlight all of these. When you highlight from the top, I want you to notice how now when I go and I drag this, it turns into a little arrow and you drag it, it's gonna change all of those to that same size. I'm trying to make them into tiny squares, like pixels. So I have all of those and then I have to do the same for the bottom. On this, I like to start at five and that's because I have to create my worksheet and on these top ones I like putting my instructions. So highlight five. I made them so tiny and I have the thing on the side that it's not working with me. Maybe I'll start here at six on this one. There you go, you want that arrow to be there so you can highlight all of them. I'll do about 35. And make this smaller like so so now I have something that I can get started with so I'm gonna start copying this picture from here and trying to make it look the same now I know that I want to start at five and at I that's my first one I like having a border around but this one's so big that it's probably not gonna work so I'm going to count how many of these blue ones I need. It's also okay to make a giant just blue thing. So I can make this whole thing 
it's probably easier change this to blue oh it's a nice blue that's nice no uh, it's more like that one custom so you have all these custom colors here to use yeah like that I like that better so now I have the blue background and now I'm gonna count how many you can start going up and down or you can start off going to the side and then you're just gonna use this little tool the um, coloring tool to color those pixels in so I'm gonna start off with black one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two so it barely starts at twenty three I'm just gonna type it in here so I, don't, I remember. So it starts at 23, I have 18, so I need to add more. So I'm gonna copy all of these. Control, copy, and then I'm gonna paste. And notice how now, oh, wait, didn't work. Here, and paste, there you go. So you paste at the end, and now I got a bunch more. And I can count 23. I know that at here, from I to Z, I'm at 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, and that was there was 23 blue so this one's gonna be black black yep. now I'm gonna confirm one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three Perfect. So now that I have my first black one on here, now I'm just going to start creating this shape. So from here, I get one, two more black, then it goes down and there's one, two, three black, and then it goes down and there's one, two, three, four black, and I'm going to turn that black. And then I'm right here in this one. And then right here, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five black, one, two, three, Okay, so now we have a picture that I'm happy with. So here is the actual pixels, the way that it looks like when it's done. Um, it's not exactly the same, right, as the picture that I had, but it's very recognizable. You can tell that it's Homer Simpson eating a donut. I'm happy with it. Now I'm gonna create this activity. I have to create the actual worksheet that goes around it. So I'm gonna start it off, just talk briefly about what it is that I do and then do the same thing where I just fast forward all that process because I do need to have the complete worksheet before I start creating the actual activity where the pixels show up by themselves. And again, this is the way that I do it. There might be a more efficient way or not, but this is the only way that I know how to do it and the way that I've 
discovered that it works. The huge thing that is the really, really important part of this building the actual worksheet, the actual activity, is that now these, you cannot go in here and like stretch them out because it will completely warp your picture. So your best friend in this case is going to be this tool here. You want to go around and like merge things together. If you need a bigger space, if you need a space for problems, then you are going to have to do it this way. And that's what I will do at first. So I'm going to use this first top one for instructions. These, that's why I leave myself these four up here because these I could, right? I can move these around up or down and it's not going to change my picture. So that's why I like doing that on the first one. I like making this one pretty small. That's where my numbers are going to go um, for when I start numbering off my problems. And then I start merging things together. So this first one, I always like to put my directions here. Maybe a place for a name if you wanted to. Um, I don't put my names on them. Uh, I don't put a section with names, mostly because then students could just write their names up here before they submit um, their file back with me. So directions, solve. I'm going to make this one about exponential equations. So solve the following exponential equations by using a common base. your solution into the let's do pink into the pink um, the pink field and okay into the pink field that works now I like doing this so when you're here, if you double click, I'm gonna highlight that, I'm gonna bold it. I'm gonna change this word here to bold and pink because it's gonna be the color of the field. And I want this to be centered and centered. What happened? Now in here, if your answer is correct, the boxes on the blue box on the right will light up. In the end, they will reveal the magic. That's that. I like making this one. Um, we are going to merge all those by making this font white. So I'm going to make the background black, the font white, so that it stands out. And then these, I like switching it so that they're. like a rainbow color.
Okay, so again, this is all just editing, making it look nice how I want it to look. I think that's good because I can merge some more of them. Some more of them. And these. Okay, perfect. I am happy with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe I'm not so happy with it. There, now I'm happy with it. So there's my directions, there's my picture. Time to start building the worksheet. This first one is the one where I'm going to keep my things in. I gotta merge some more in here. Holy guacamole, this is. Maybe we can make this one so bigger. Okay. So now in here, I think I'm going to need about three. So I'm going to go by threes. This is going to be problem one. Actually, I'm going to select all of these. Change this to plain text. Merge two merge merge merge. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here then eventually I'm gonna go all down the line and get this is a big picture, so I'm probably gonna do fifteen problems on here. Um, and going by threes will go up to 45, so I think that's perfect. Um, and then I just need one place for the actual problem, so I think that's good. So it's nice and big. And then these places will be where my answer goes. So then I'll put something here that says answer. I'm gonna put something here that says X equals. I'll show you guys how I do that. Now I know that I want these fields to be pink because I told them to put their answer on their pink fields and that's where my answers are gonna go. Now you'll see the importance after at the end why it's important for you to have all of this filled out. So uh, now I'm gonna show you how I put in formulas in here. So again, don't know if this is the most efficient way, if there's a better way to do it, but I love the math features in Microsoft Word and things like that. So if you use PowerPoint, that's what I use. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open PowerPoint. I'm gonna end up erasing this later anyway. So on PowerPoint, insert an equation. And I just type my equations up here. So the first one's gonna be 216. Did I not make it into an equation? I erased everything prematurely. It was just that's just a text box. Equation. So we need an exponent 216 to the negative 3x equals 36. So that's a problem that I'm gonna put on here. And I'm gonna make this. I like making them really large. I don't know why. I don't know if it actually changes. Um, the way that they look or not, but then I can take this and I'm going to save it as a picture when you right click and I'm going to call this problem one and I'm going to save this just on my desktop so it's easy to find. And then usually what I would do is I would create a bunch of these so that I have all the ones that I need. So the next is going to be 64. The NBA has been suspended. Well, For more details, go to... Well, okay then. 64 to the 2x is equal to 16 is the next problem that I have on my list. And I'm going to save this. And now this is going to be problem two. Okay, save. 
So now that I have, I would have all 15 problems that I want typed up in there. And then I would come back here. And when we go and you click here, you go to file. What was it? Edit file, insert, where is it? Oh, insert, insert, image, image and cell. And you can browse here to get to your picture. So problem one. And then it's some nice math typed up in there rather than it being some, um, you know, sometimes math doesn't look so nice. It's a picture. Kids can't go and delete it in the address bar, right? So it's in there. They, they can't edit it unless obviously they um, go in there and delete it, which hopefully they won't. So then I would do the same insert image, image in cell, browse and grab the second one. You can also drag and drop. And there's the second one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill finish this up. And then if I need to adjust this by bringing it down like this because it got too big, then I'll do that. But for right now, I'm happy with it this way. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward until we get to the end. So when you see me again in here, I'm just gonna stop the video here and then you can see um, when the worksheet is completed and I'll show you what I do after that. So yeah, now it's just a matter of me creating that worksheet. So now the good stuff, here is the completed worksheet. This is the key pretty much. So if you wanted to print this out because you have your key already, here it is. So now what we're gonna do with this key is we're gonna take those answers and turn them into um, our activity. So once again, uh, just follow along. It shouldn't be too hard, but um, I'm very, I don't know if it's a weird thing to do, but this is just what helps me make sure that my picture still looks the way that I want it to. So I'm gonna start off by selecting just random pixels by holding down my control key and just uh, making sure that I use the same color, that I pick ones that are the same color. So I'm gonna start off with the black ones. I'm just gonna pick all the ones here. That one, just like sporadic ones. This is how students are gonna see them pop up. So in my opinion, I don't want to start revealing what the picture is right away. But this is a big picture, so I do have to select a lot of them just to make sure that I have enough problems later. And I think that's enough for the first one. So once I have all of them, I'm gonna right click on the very last one that I selected and I'm gonna scroll down to where it says conditional formatting. So notice how this pops up here. These right here are all of those fields that I chose. So one by one. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna scroll down to custom formula. The custom formula here, we wanna tell it that if there is a particular answer where we wanted to, then we wanted to turn a certain color. So we start off with the equal sign, the dollar sign to lock it in place. And my first answer is that, is that F5. So F dollar sign five equals, okay, so now we're saying it, if what's inside that dollar sign, that um, F5 is equal to negative two nines. See how they all turn the color of this? So all these pixels that I had highlighted are now a different color where I wanna tell it to turn black. And now they just turned black again. Now this part's very important so that you don't forget which ones you already did. And this is why I do it this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit another rule. And when I hit that, these, this is still exactly the same what I just typed. I'm gonna erase what's inside the quotations. So now I'm saying if it's blank, so if F5 um, is blank, then I want it to turn blue, done. So now I'm gonna go here and when I erase that, 
all of those that I already checked, well, I already took care of them, so I don't have to do that again. And I'm gonna do the same thing for one third. And so now maybe I'll just pick all these white ones just in the eyeball. there and then like I'll do like a batch right there and conditional formatting custom formula I copied the first the previous one so I don't have to keep doing that and I'm gonna say now if F and this is gonna be F8 is equal to one third I watch it turn I want it to turn if it doesn't turn something's wrong so I just turn into this green color well if it's that I want it to turn white so then I'm going to add another rule and I'm going to say if it's blank I want it to turn blue done I'm going to go here and erase it and now those have been taken care of and that's what they're going to start seeing and then I'm just going to do like a patch of yellow. Just some like random. All these little ones so I don't forget about them. And conditional formatting, custom formula, paste. Now we're at 11. We're at 8, 11, and I want that to equal negative 2. Watch them turn, and I want them to be yellow. Add another rule. Blank. And if it's blank, I want it to be blue. So now I'm going to do that to all of my remaining pixels and then make sure that you stay tuned to the end so that I can make sure that um, I show you what to do so that the answers work at the end. So there's one more step at the end once you're done with all of this and then you're done. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish all of this up right now, not on camera so that this video isn't a thousand minutes long. Okay, so now that I've finished all of the pixels and taking care of all the answers, this is what a student's screen would look like. So the thing that I said that was important to do is because now that we've just sort of erased the picture, all of those colors that were in there to begin with are still somehow hidden in the background. So for example, number 15, the answer to number 15 was six. So when I put in six, those pixels do light up, right? So it works, but Let's say I put in four, a wrong answer, they still light up. I put in, they still light up. So it's just pretty much only if it's empty, those rules apply. So the way to make sure that that doesn't happen, you're going to go and highlight your entire square, all of it. Oh, so I wanna go over. So we want the square to just be where they expect those pixels to show up. And we're going to color it that color that you want the background. So now we've just gotten rid of all of those colors that we originally had in the background when we made those pixels. So now if I put in a wrong answer, it doesn't show up. So they have to plug in the correct answer in order for the pixels to pop up. And that's it. You created a pixel activity and hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you don't want to spend the time of creating all of this, which took a couple of hours, you can always um, go into my Teachers Pay Teachers and buy one of these activities. They are $3 um, on Teachers Pay Teachers. I think right now I just have a few, but I am going to be putting up more and more and more as the days go up. I just have to actually create um, the listings on Teachers Pay Teachers. I just started that yesterday, so I'm just starting to get used to this, but this one will be up there. Um, by the time this video goes up. I hope you enjoyed it and um, hit subscribe. I'm not sure whether or not I'll be uploading more videos unless you see anything on 
um, teachers pay teachers that you want to see or you want a tutorial on, I'm happy to do it. Um, as awkward as it is, um, have a great day.